Hello, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the Blu-ray, your one-stop for the reaction videos, right? So check this out. I just got this a minute ago. Somebody else was like, man, how do you do all that screaming stuff? It was with um, um, I Love Bite on one of the groups there. They were shredding. So I said, hey, next I do a metal thing. I just got this a few minutes ago. So check it out, right? I'm like, well, how are they doing that without pressing the whammy bar? I didn't see the whammy bar. Okay, I'm still in the wrapper, right? I'm still in the wrapper and stuff. And I said, how are they doing that without, a, without the whammy bar? I used to use the Cry Baby Wah Wah pedal on Fuzz, and I had a digital box. I wish I would have kept it. I threw it out, but I got another one coming. You could sing through it and stuff, right? And that guy said, oh, you want to get this right here. This is what you want to get. I'm like, oh. But sometimes they do have a whammy bar, but you just can't see it. And they're not pulling on it like Jimi Hendrix would pull on his whammy bar. I don't have a whammy bar. I got one on my guitar downstairs. I'm going to give you guys a, a tour pretty soon. It's like 90% built. I was down there practicing yesterday. I got to practice some guitar stuff today. I was practicing on what's called machine. I used to have that box with all the, the square buttons on it. You tap and you can play whatever, right? So I was downstairs yesterday. I'll give you guys a tour downstairs. But I would like to be able to film downstairs, but my main PC, which is a PC, is here. So I don't know if I want to film on my laptop or not yet. Plus, you can't see it because it's against the wall and my desk is out here. So that's another issue. But yeah, so I said, next I do a metal thing. And I said, oh, the legend of Miko Fujika, rest in peace, right? Because I was reading about him and how he had passed away. Um, the planetarium, as he fell off a ledge. I thought he was mountain climbing, but it said it was a planet, like uh, one of them. I guess things you watch the stars with or something. Something happened. He fell. There's my dog and she wants inside. And I'm like, no, you're not going to come inside. Well, anyway, enough yakking. I got my, my pedal down there. I may show him a couple more times with the Japanese metal or whatever. And then, are you ready for some reaction? All right, let's do this. Tapping like crazy. I don't know why my dog does that. As soon as I start recording, she's a little puppy. I told you she wants to be an internet star. I was gonna put her on the show with me, <laughs> right? And I'm like, no, okay. Okay, let's get back to this. <laughs> that's what that pedal can do, all that dive bar. So I don't know. If he's doing that, or somebody's working his control, like, backstage. Okay, like you said, if you watch Jimi Hendrix or, your, or the, the guy in the 80s, Stevie Ray Vaughan, they're actually stepping on the pedals when they're doing their stuff. So I don't know if these guys have controllers. I mean, I want to watch that again when he does that dive. Right? Okay, let's go. Oh, he has a whammy bar. He does have a whammy, but he's not using a foot whammy. But see, it's hard to see in the um, in the, uh, the the darkness there. It's hard to see it. Oh my God, this guy is shredding, man. That's what I said. I never really got the good, good at shredding. I do a lot of Hendrix stuff, a lot of bending, you know. And Hendrix can bend his, he can bend like crazy. Like I said, nobody plays the guitar like Hendrix. You know, this dude is awesome as well, man. But he does a lot of bending, you know, and a lot of bending and a lot of whammy. Then he takes the guitar and rubs it against the speakers and against the microphone and get all that feedback and stuff. Man, this guy is awesome, though. That's the style that I've learned. Not that I would go rub my guitar against the speaker, but that's the style that I used to play. Trying to get back to playing with this guy is awesome, man. If I wouldn't have got all this stuff, Japanese metal got me back into playing. Well, Elvis Presley did do Elvis Presley reactions. Let's go. I, I don't know if, it, if I was pulling on mine too hard, but it lifts up the whole bridge. So, um, uh, how you say it? 
tuning becomes an issue, right? And when you try to tune it with a whammy bar, you'd be there for like an hour trying to get it just the tuning right. That's the only thing about it. Could throw, I'm not sure if they're making them different or better now. Because my, my guitar downstairs, I probably have to get it repaired, you know, and um, restrained. You know, I may do that and stuff. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's go. See how he did that? The way he just... He, he's, he's using his rhyming bar very sparingly, very lightly. You know, <laughs> like the way we did in the 60s and 70s. Uh, we pull all that sucker like we're pulling a lawnmower or stuff. That's why our stuff is all damaged now. But maybe they make them more sensitive now or something like that. So maybe that, that's something new. You know, man, beautiful playing. I know I have to stop this with stuff because I just got like some stuff blocked. Like from big baby metal and stuff. All right, and uh, so I'm just being careful. All right, let's go. He's working, pedal. He's working his pedal. I missed it. Like, like I said, the, the darkness, the camera's going all over the place. I didn't see him. He is working his pedals. He is. I want to show you something um, if you want to know like how is they able to hit all those things it's not that hard I'll, I'll let me put it put on, put it on pause for a second okay I am back okay I'm gonna show you a cheat sheet okay let me bring it over here you see I have guitar solos so if you stay within that realm you won't be wrong okay so it's like a cheat sheet I'll show you these uh, when I'm done so if these guys are like, okay, wow, you know, how is that possible, whatever. If you stay within that rum, as long as you're hitting those notes and that's key, then I'll show you how that's done. Even though I still can't play like that, but that way you won't be, you won't be wrong. All right, let's go. Harmonics, whoa! Right, so you got that. You should have got that sound by not pressing down on the string, and you get like a ding sound on your guitar, and then you, he's hitting that whammy bar and stuff, man. But the way that they're doing it, but I, I still, although I have the technique up in here, I was just never really good at harmonics and stuff, man. You know? Okay, let's go. I have a Wikipedia. I should have probably brought that in here and stuff. The Wikipedia page with them and stuff. So, um, and then he had an instructor, I guess, the guy that taught him. And I guess he passed away because they're like, okay, they could be playing in heaven together. They're probably jamming right now. Okay, but let, let, let me introduce you. This is old school, right? So check this out. I do have a, a I tried it one time, a program on Xbox, right? That teaches you, but it's weird because the note traveled like it's down, like down the guitar. And when it hits the finish line, that's when you play it. Cause I'm playing, getting it all wrong. Well, I can see what the note is, but you have to wait till it hits the, the finish line at the same time. That's what it is. And I'm like, okay, this is pretty cool. I only did it once, but it's my Xbox, and this is the. Let me have the cable to it right here. Yeah, my Xbox is over there. So I'm gonna show you new school. If you don't want well, to take tradition, whatever. See, so this plugs into my guitar, and this cable goes into my Xbox, and it's called what is it? Uh, guitar Smith, something like that. And um, I had the, <laughs> the old version went out of date. It's on my old uh, Xbox 365. I had, I had to get the Xbox, the program for Xbox One, because the old one just sat there doing that. And I only played it one time, right? And if you want to go old school, you go with this. So I'm going to show you these. These are Al Green, right? He got like a few followers on, on, on whatever. I'm like, wow, I thought he would have more on that. So you see in the key of A, right? So I'm playing in the key of A. I would just, these are all the notes you can hit, you see? 
And you won't be wrong. And that's what it's telling you. That's why you see him shredding like the way he's shredding. That doesn't mean you won't be able to shred because I can't shred yet myself. But when you follow these, these, these solo down, see, each one is a different one. You see, if you're in B flat, then you would play, oh, you see. Ah, let me put these down. Then you would play B flat. Then you would play this. Right? You probably can still order these, Ron Green. These are good because it's easy and it's right there. You, have, you know, you can do YouTube videos or you can run guitar bass or something like that. Right? And then they have them for rhythm if you want to play um, rhythm. Right? Yeah, that's the other good, what the other guitar is playing. Right? In the key of C. Right? All the chords there. And then yeah, he invented this stuff. It's still valuable. And when I started playing again, I said, let me go find this. If you want to be a lead guitar player. Right? Same thing. Everything is there. That's in the A minor, right? And then if you want to do bass solos, boom, they have it for bass. Ron Green. So you can still probably, you probably still order these. I think you can. But I went and checked it out, right? Bass guitar dial, right? If you just want to know how to play bass, whatever, right? Like I said, you can go online now. You can go on YouTube videos. And these are, these are my favorite. Now, you saw this during the Kurt Cobain era. Power chords, right? Power chords are easy. You're holding two or three chords, right? Right. One fret and two frets down. One string over that, or you can use the optional. I would white out that, right? And then you go on like um, in the middle C F G C, or or, or there's different patterns that you can play. It tells you that one. That's called one five four, one four five one. See down here. Oh, can't see my fingers, can you? This. So these are your options, and these are the options you play. So if you're interested, that's old school. What I like about old school is that um, I just set it up, look at it. Okay, remind me how to play. But if you sort of repetitive, once you know one, four, five chord, or however you want to mix it, you mix it the way you want. Um, then you just play it, you know, and um, it's sort of that way. So the way he's shredding it. Now the thing is now, can your muscle, can you, can your muscle shred, you know? Can, can you hit? Can you, you're going to be off or you're going to miss that ch chopping those strings up. That's what makes the shredding hard. Is that you're trying to get that first string and that E string and it's staying on that and then going between the strings, right? And opposed to bending, like Hendrix does a lot of bending, right? Bend the strings, right? He bends it around and stuff like that, you know? And, um, but that's the difference though. So shredding. So, so, yeah, so you just got that muscle memory. I have, it, I have it up here. I got to get it down here. I tried it already with my um, my muff pedal. I bought a metal muff pedal. And I tried doing that um, baby metal stuff like his stuff. It didn't work. Somebody's like, hey, you have to mute the strings. There's a way you got to play. So I have to restudy that. So I'm trying to get back in shape. I, I drilled today for the first time in a couple of weeks. Even though my guitar sits back there and stuff. The doing this right here prevents me from doing that. But today, I just sat down a few minutes. And last night, I started doing my um, electronic music. And what I said earlier was that it was doing reaction to Elvis Presley that made me pick up my guitar again because he plays guitar naturally. Because a lot of the music I genuinely listen to, like hip-hop and rap, whatever, it's all machine. You just see, if you, if you didn't watch my old video, I had the square box down there, right? It's like a, it is a computer, basically. And you program that sucker, you know, and it's all programmed music. You can shred with, uh, with that, right? You can shred with by programming. It's called shredder, right? So you don't have to play guitar. You can just program that sucker in there and be shredding. But I'm gonna use that as well. But um, I, I want to open a guitar or music channel, right? That takes you from basic to advanced. I still I just gotta pick my skills up. I still have it up here, right? And um, but it's not just a guitar channel, a bass guitar channel. It's to allow people who are learning to play any instrument. And what I do is I put the background music, whether it is uh, bass drums or whatever bass and drum your guitar player you choose that one you know exercises and stuff like that and it's a circular thing it's not me one direction me teaching somebody how to play you know it's me i have to get back in shape myself it's you know me learning from other people as well so more of a forum so that's coming in the future i just gotta um i just want to improve on a lot of stuff put a couple of covers down put covers on this channel here but that shredding guy, I had to give a tribute to him, man, because he's an awesome player and stuff, man. And may he rest in peace. 
and stuff and you know, tragic accident. I've been yickety yackety too much already. So please like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get the um, 13,000 by the end of this month. Please help me get there. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I'm Dr. Ron. I'll catch you guys in the next video.